All right, guys, today I'm gonna teach you guys how to build a grind box. I'm here at Home Depot, and we're gonna go inside and get the materials to make this grind box, and I'm gonna teach you guys the easiest way, how to for dummies. Let's go. Nice. Oh, be quiet. Oh, come on. Big bang. Breaking out that bank, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Will it stay? Leave it in the comments below. Will the wood fly off? All right, so we just arrived at Luke's house and we're about to build the box, but I wanted to show you guys what the box we had before and why we're making a new one. Oh yeah, I love that. My name is Kelly Wakasa. I'm a sponsored skateboarder from the San Francisco Bay Area. And today, I'm gonna teach you guys how to build a grind box. What's up my dudes? We are going to be building a grain box today and I'm gonna tell you exactly what materials you need to get to build your very own grind box. You're gonna need four two by fours, one half inch piece of plywood, a bunch of two and a half inch screws or bigger, and angled iron that is at least six feet in length. What we're going on here, we're building a six foot box. It's gonna be one foot tall and two feet wide, right? Okay, well, my dad is, he used to be a contractor, so he's okay at setting up wood. Pretty good. And so he set up this rig. So basically, Kelly has to basically just cut on and use this as an edge. And basically, it's like, I'm gonna say basically one more time. It's like hey. when you're a little kid and you go to a restaurant. Chinese restaurant, you can't use the chopsticks yet. So they give you those little rubber bands so it, it helps you. It's basically like a fork. So if you mess this up, <laughs> You're I better not mess this up. You're a kid that has issues. It doesn't work. Yeah! So if anyone wants me to build their house, hit me up. Link will be in the description. Ibuildyourhomes.com. Kelly Luke. too. He's extra though. Yeah, baby! First try. Oh, that's good right there. You use a double line so it's more accurate. We're gonna go double. Double or nothing. Nice. So we're gonna take obviously the, the two by, by four, four since it's it's straight. What a nice. Oh my god, you just. <laughs> I was about to say, what a nice tripod. You're gonna wanna cut the plywood so it's in a six by two foot cut, and basically that will be your top layer of the box. If this video gets 2,000 likes, Luke will cut this piece. Okay, we'll wait. Okay, you dropped the like, good. All right, let's do this. Okay, how do you do it? You press down. We're men among men and manly men, yes, manly men are we. We're men among manly men among manly manly men are we. Now you are going to want to cut the 2x4 pieces into three categories. You want two 6 foot 2x4 pieces, eight 1 foot 2x4 pieces, and the rest 21 inch 2x4 pieces. Alright, so what you want to do first is make sure it's lined up. Yeah, baby. We could call this step assembling the frame. If you think about it mathematically, we have six feet wide and we have one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. That means we'll have one at every 12 inches. And remember the quantum physics of the fully dissociation of H2O in this mixture. Luke picked that one out. The next step is to assemble the frame. You want to take the two by four pieces that are six feet in length and two of the 21 inch two by four pieces. You want to connect them so it makes a rectangular shape. This piece you are creating is going to be the top layer of the box. After you're going to want to evenly space the rest of the 21 inch 2x4s inside the frame you've already started building. Then you want to take your 2x6 foot piece of plywood and put it on top of the frame. Then you start screwing in on the top into the frame. And I did three rows of screws 
please make sure that you are careful so you do not miss like I did. Oh, oh my gosh. You are a mile off. So I kind of guessed on where we were going to put the holes on the top, so we kind of missed. Definitely don't do that, kids. Now that you have your frames, you must add your legs to the box to give it the height you need. You want to take the one foot two by four pieces and put two in each corner at an L shape or a 90 degree angle. Also, you want to make sure that the bottom pieces are flush so that when the box is standing, it is not uneven and tilting. Also, this part you really want to get perfect and flush everywhere, so it might take a couple people to get it right. You want to put more screws into the leg so it's more sturdy and there's less chances of it tilting and being uneven. You guys are almost done building your box at this point. You only have one more step and that is putting the angled iron onto the box. The first step you got to do in the process of doing that is drill the holes. We put three holes, one at each end and one in the middle. You're going to want a drill bit that is wide enough so that the screw can fit into the angled iron. And also you're going to want to use a different bit that's a lot bigger. When you're putting in the screw, the screw goes in flush and is not poking out. You really don't want it to be poking out because otherwise when you're doing like a 50-50 or any type of grind on this box, you will clip and you will die. Trust me, I know the feeling. Alright, it's day two and the box is done. We're out here, Luke's backyard, new box. We're going to wax it up and just have the best session on it. I hope you enjoyed watching that video. If you have any more questions about how to build a grind box, leave it in the comments below. I will be answering your questions because I know that this tutorial was not that thorough, did not go over everything. So I bet you might run into a problem. So just put it in the comments down below. Also, if you do decide to build this box and use this format I did, please, I wanna know. So post a picture of the grind box on Instagram and tag me so I can see it and I'll comment or like it or something like that. I just wanna see it, you know? This is a pretty funny video. Obviously, Luke and I are not, are not experts, but you know, we tried and we actually made a pretty good box. So I think if Luke and I can do it, you guys can do it for sure. So go out there and make yourself a box. Otherwise, subscribe for more content. I do these videos every single day. If you wanna see more how-to videos and stuff like that, uh, let me know in the comments below. Also, I have a how-to video. You can go on my channel and go to the videos. If you guys didn't know, I actually have a Twitter and you guys should go check it out because I, I don't think a lot of you guys know about it and uh, Twitter's pretty cool. And uh, I've really found some love for that app right now. Also, if any of you guys out there make music or anything like that that might fit my channel, please email me at kellywacosta at gmail.com and um, it's gotta be copyright free. Make sure it's copyright free. Don't send me music that isn't copyright free, otherwise I can't use it. So make sure it's copyright free and everything like that. Thank you for peeping this video. I will see you when the next video posts at 7 a.m. tomorrow Pacific time, 10 a.m. Eastern time. Till next time, guys. Peace.